So early on within the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC, there are multiple NPCs you can interact with and start their quest lines. Now many of these early game NPCs actually end with their quest line at a particular fight. But not only that, many of these quest lines will not only teach you more about the game and its fantastic lore, but also reward you specific items, some you don't want to miss. But you can also break these quest lines by getting to a certain point in this DLC's playthrough, which will then mean said items, said lore will be gone forever. Well, until your next playthrough. So I wanted to make a quick guide talking about that point of no return, uh, these NPCs that you need to interact with, and the progress you need to make before that point of no return comes. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now I'm actually working on a complete guide in regards to these NPCs and their side quests and every step for everyone you need to do before that point of no return happens. That should be uploaded by tomorrow though. But in this video I'll just showcase where these NPCs are located, basically where and how you progress them and how far you actually have to take them. But first things first, more details on that point of no return and what it means to certain quests. Now I won't show footage here and I will try and keep spoilers as minimal as possible but I do feel by now most players know about it. So you will come to the Mesmer boss fight upon you taking him out. You then come to Romina, Saint of the Bud. There is a way to come straight to Romina uh, without going through Mesmer but when it comes to that point of no return and actually progressing this point it states that you need Mesmer's kindling to do so. So yeah he has to be defeated. But hey, once Romina is taken out, you can then come to this specific tree which you can then burn, set a light. This is that point of no return. Well, this is that point of no return people are talking about. But upon you burn that tree, you then gain access to a new area, just a small area called Ina Ilum. I believe it's pronounced that way, I'm probably wrong, who cares. But this point of no return is only in relation to certain NPCs and their quests. No areas that I know of in the sense of the open world and what this DLC offers are drastically changed or you're locked out of them. What happens is these NPCs or quests that you can progress early on can become summoned allies or even foes in said Ina Elam area that is opened up after you interact with that tree. But as long as quests are completely done by the time you find the cleansing chamber and your room, this is where you can summon to fight Needle Knight Leader. But at the same time guys, there's also going to be many other summons spread in and around this area. And what these summons are, these summons are tied to the NPCs whose quest people believe can be blocked out by hitting that point of no return, which is the burning of that tree. What I actually think it is, as long as their quests have been done before this fight is summoned, before you summon Needle Knight Leader, they can complete those quests and then progress onto this fight. And then depending on choices you made throughout those quest lines of those early game NPCs, they will either become allies or foes they can summon in said fight with Needle Knight Leader. So in reality guys, this should be that point of no return. But even still, if I were you, I'd still complete the following NPC quests before burning that tree. But again, I can confirm as long as said quests have been started after burning said tree, you can go back and finish them. But again, I do believe summoning that Needle Knight leader boss may indeed avoid said quests and your obvious ability to be able to summon them with you or against you in this Needle Knight leader boss fight meaning there in reality you will not get said loot for finishing said quests simple as that so what should you start before this point of no return and again guys this isn't a complete guide on said quests i'm currently working on said early game npc quests in one massive video and everything you need to do in every single quest line before getting to this point of no return but that is a video for another day probably tomorrow if i can get it done in time but I just wanted to get this out there for people unsure about how that point of no return actually affects things. Okay, so getting into the NPCs, the early NPCs you want to interact with. Okay, so first things first, you need to interact with Needle Knight Leela herself. And this I'm certain most people already did. It happens before you enter the DLC area with Morg's Dynasty area or his throne room where you take him out to enter the DLC. 
Then, guys, you obviously want to push on and speak to uh, Redmayne Freer and Hornscent at the Free Path Cross Grace. Then, guys, you want to speak to Sir Ansbach as well as Moore, who can be found at the Main Gate Cross Grace. Then, you want to find and speak to Fiolia at the Pillar Path Cross Grace site. I believe her name's pronounced like that. I could be wrong. You also guys want to interact with Dryleaf Dane who's found by the Morph's Ruins Grace but firstly you need to get the May the Best Win gesture. This can be found by the Highland Cross site of Grace. Then go to that Morph Ruins Grace, find uh, Dryleaf, do this in front of him, use the gesture in front of him and well go from there guys. But yeah, as long as these quests have been started, upon you burning that tree, upon you getting past that point of no return people have spoke about with burning that tree, these quests still can be continued by you simply going back to them. Just make sure they are done before that Needle Knight leader fight, as it's at this point, like I said earlier, is where these NPCs, these quest NPCs, make their last appearance, and obviously this affects their gear drops, which can be easily missed. Now obviously guys there are multiple choices through these quest lines, some can become foes, others can become allies, again a guide on all of this to come. But yeah these are the NPCs I know are affected and can take part in that Needle Knight leader fight. Now a couple of other short quests I've been told that are affected by that point of no return are the Horn Scent Grandam a quest which requires you to head to the Baloo Tower settlement, grab that storeroom key, then go on and speak into her, then pushing on and defeating the Divine Dancing Lion, getting his mask, heading back to the Horn Scent Grandam, wearing that mask, speaking to her again for her reward. Also just around the corner from this place, from the same grace point, is that Fire Knight Quillen fight, who again I have been told is affected by the point of no return. I can't confirm this though with the last two, as these I did both real real early on. Now as far as I am aware, Iagon's quest isn't affected by the point of no return and burning that tree, but I'd still start that anyway. This is started right by the Pillar Path's Grace, found right here. You can hear him calling, just go clear out his dialogue, simple as that. I'm also told Ymir and Yolan's quest are not affected by that point of no return and burning that tree and these rewards some great great rewards too but yeah guys there we have it a short but i say short but sweet i've probably spoke more than i wanted to but i just wanted to get this point across to people out there who are worried about getting all these quests done before going to that point of no return and progressing on with the game that isn't necessarily true as long as these quests have been somewhat started you can always return after taking out Mesmer, after taking out Ramina, Saint of the Bud, and then taking down or burning down that tree. Again, as long as they've been started, you should be able to finish them. As long as you do this before heading to Ina Elam, that area that opens up after burning said tree, and taking part and summoning the Needle Knight leader boss fight. And there we have it guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you have anything to add so other players can know, let me know down below in the comments section. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.